I want to hear a lot of damn booty. <laughs> More of that. So I'm someone that goes through these stages of like either working out a ton or just not working out at all. And currently I'm in the not working out much at all category of my life. I've been an athlete pretty much all my life from the minute I could walk and through college, I played division one volleyball and then I got injured my senior year. And from there it was just, I could never really get that routine of getting back into the gym. I usually don't work out. This is something I've never done. I usually walk a lot. So I'm not a big fan of my upper legs. I used to have like fine legs, but then as I get older, I can see like that's where I start like putting all the weight. My favorite body part would probably be my behind, but it's also my least favorite part because it's not as shapely and toned as I would like it to be. My biggest struggle right now is the thighs and booty. I have no booty. Like right now it's hurting me. I have no meat. I, I want to try and do 100 in one go. I'm definitely gonna have to break it up. My plan for this like 30 days is that I'll do 100 in one setting. Here's day one of lunges. I decided to go full 100, um, and tomorrow we'll decide if I'm in pain. Ooh, I can't do this in one setting. I needed a break. All right, so this is day one of the challenge. I am sick, so that's fun. Um, I'm still gonna try and do it because how hard can it really be? I guess we'll find out. My knees don't hurt as bad as I thought they would. It wasn't that bad. It sucks, it definitely sucks. I don't see doing this for 30 days. 100. I'm not like completely out of breath, but obviously I do feel it. I'm a little warm. I'm very interested to see how sore I'm gonna be tomorrow. I just finished day two and yeah, that was like 10 times harder than day one. I'm already this burnt at 50 and it's day what, two? My legs feel like heavy tree trunks now. <sighs> pray for me, y'all, pray for me. It was easy day one. I was like, oh yeah, under <laughs> lunches, this is gonna be super simple. And then the next day, I was very, 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 very sore. I felt like I was getting a disease because of the amount of pain that I had. I was like, oh, this is wrong. Like, this is couldn't be normal. The worst part was really like day two, three, four, five. I still feel good about it because exercise. So, I didn't feel like going outside to do my lunges. So I decided while I clean my apartment, I'll just lunge around 25. So I've been doing the challenge a week now and it definitely started off kind of difficult. The first day was easy and then it really, really hurt. Um, then it, it like got easier, then it got hard again and now it's getting easier again, which is nice. To be honest, by the end of week one, by doing just body weights, I was like, this actually got much easier. My quads are feeling really strong. Like they're so like much harder than they used to be. My butt doesn't really feel any different. That is the one thing I'm worrying about. I'm just gonna end up with these like super solid quads and like nothing else. So it's week two. The first week was rough to start. Then it got easier. Then it got really easy. So I said, why not up the weight? I added on 10 pound weights. That was a mistake. Let's see how it goes. It started to rain in LA and my knees started to ache. How can I say it? Like I did not see any changes or I felt like there was no changes happening in my body. All right, so I'm being a piece of shit because yesterday I just completely didn't do it. I didn't have time. There were just some days that like it was really hard to fit in or I literally did forget. I would have days like lined up and be like, okay, so I haven't done it for two days. I have to do 300 today. And now I've had half a glass of wine. It's Friday night. So uh, I'm gonna have to do 200 lunches right now. 20, 21. 22. That hurt way more than normal. I don't know if the days are catching up to me or it's because I had a day off yesterday, but my quads are so sore. My butt doesn't really feel anything, but my quads are like burning like crazy. You could never tell exactly like how easy or hard it was gonna be on the day. This is the beginning of week three. I feel like it's really hard to guess if it's getting easier or harder, but I've added this wall. Uh, as a weight, I'm kind of scared that my body would not respond to all this workout. I'm kind of scared to look and find out that I don't have any results. I will say that there was a three day period where I did nothing. So in order to catch up, I had to do lunges in the office. I did it. I got 300 lunges done today. Thank God I have ibuprofen at my desk because this hurt. 
What I can say is that I've noticed a difference. These are the shorts that I wore for the video and they fit so much looser. I feel like I did notice changes. I think my thighs are looking like slimmer. Like I had like a, a this shape to me and I think it's more like this now. I don't see a difference in the scale, but I see a difference in like the clothes I wear. These were the shorts I wore when I tried the video on and they was like painted skin tight. But I got a little, got a little wiggle room. I am so glad 30 Days is finally up. It was much harder than I thought. It was a lot of ups and downs. I feel like towards the middle, I started to get like disheartened. But in general, like it did make me feel good. Every time I did it, I was, I felt like accomplished and my legs were like, you know, sore and I'm like, yeah. I did see that my thighs got bigger in a way. I'll put a timer on and it takes five minutes, 24 seconds to finish a set of 100. I think I'm like excited to see the results. I'm excited to see if there is any changes? First time we measured you, your uh, your quad was 15 and a half inches, and now it came in at 16 and a half. You gained a full inch on your butt. What? And then uh, on your butt, you gained a full inch on your butt too. Oh my God, that's that's amazing. That's amazing. I'm I'm so excited because I've always struggled with my butt. So like, if these lunges actually help me grow my butt, then it's I don't maybe don't have to do squats. Who knows? But yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> what I will say is I am glad that I did it. I pushed myself and I think I'm a better person for it. I definitely don't want to keep doing this every single day because it is a lot to remember to do and like to try and fit in. But it is good to know that like it does work. Well, even if it doesn't work in the measurements, I still feel like stronger. And so I do want to keep doing it. So like, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to keep doing it probably like four times a week at least.